So my body of work started with just a curiosity for oil paint and an interest in the way oil paint could really realistically render human skin. I think it's pretty amazing that there's no other kind of painting method or drawing method that can actually capture all the nuances of skin and the little subtleties. That kind of led me to a photo shoot where I just was pretty much just skin and bodies. So my friends were pretty helpful because my photo shoot was just pretty much them. And I ended up using a lot of the images for my bottom panel, which was half my work. So a lot of my concept was about paradoxes and little complexities in human relationships. I think it's quite interesting that we live in a world where our sense of space is being contextualized through travel and technology. And we live in this tight-knit culture that makes people still feel distant and lonely and alienated. And so I pulled on that thread for a while and I decided to do a work that was about complete intimacy and closeness, but at the same time about distance and separation. I actually started with the bottom panels, the smaller panels, because I'm quite new to oil painting and I didn't want it to jump into like a big work. The small ones actually took the majority of my time. I only started my big panel in term three, which is a big mistake, and I really suffered in the end. It really took me a while to get the hang of oil painting because it really is a difficult medium. But in the end, I pulled through. So I was really, really inspired by a few artists. Firstly, being Lucian Freud. Uh, he was more of a material kind of aesthetic inspiration, but I think his use of oil painting is just so interesting. He actually uses impasto and oil painting to mimic the texture of human skin and build up little, you know, nuances and subtleties that I just think is amazing. And it really inspired me in terms of color and representing the human form. Uh, another artist was Jenny Saville. She actually, she focuses on the female form and she represents women in like a completely non-traditional way. There's no sense of beauty, it just seems realistic. But in all honesty, I found mine quite a challenge. Uh, I, for a while, didn't think I would finish it. There were a lot of times where I just wanted to give up and just stop painting because I was sick of it and I was sick of the smell of oil paint. But I had teachers and friends who were very supportive and my teachers kind of always encouraged me and told me that the end product would be worth it. And to me, it was. So to year 12s who are doing the body of work, I would tell them to manage your time carefully and have a meticulous plan. Just try and take advantage of school time because you actually get quite a bit of it. And remember that your teachers will always give you advice they know more than you. So just listen to them is pretty much, yeah.